In this quick video, we are going to look at how to create a polling question for your students using Pear Deck. Right now you can see that I have a slide presentation already created. This is just a simple Google slide presentation. And I have a title slide and then I have a second slide created here. What I want to point out is that I have my question typed into this slide at the top right now so that if a student goes to this presentation, they will be able to see the question that I'm asking. Now to make this interactive so that you can see what your students are going to say in the poll, we want to go over to Pear Deck. And if you don't see Pear Deck here like this, you'll want to go to your add-ons and select it from uh, this list right here. And you'll open it from here. But I'm going to go ahead and open Pear Deck and then I want to choose a choice type of question. And so when this comes up, I will remember that my question was, do I prefer in-person or virtual learning? So one of my choices will be in-person. One of mine will be virtual. And in some cases, a student might say both. Oops, okay. Now I will update the slide. It's adding the interactive question. And that's all there is to it. So to see what this looks like on the student end, I'm gonna go ahead and start this lesson. And in this case, I'm going to choose instructor paste activity. Okay, so this would be the code that my students would use to join, YFOWP. I'm going to go over to my student account and type in YFOWP. I need to log in with my account. Feeling good. And then here's the presentation. So it's already on the slide where I'm asking the question and I can see, do I prefer in-person or virtual learning? I'll just say both. And then we'll go back over to the teacher side and see what this looks like. I can close this up now. And I can see here that 100% of my students, which is one, have said both. And so you know, I could change my answer here to maybe virtual learning and you can see that it's changed here. So that's how you do it. It's just a matter of adding that simple question type to your slides.